If you are someone that is not making enough sales right now on Amazon FBA, today I am going to share with you the top five things that you must check so you can start increasing your sales right away. Let's dive right in. Hey guys, welcome to the inside of my computer. Today we will be using confetti tissue as our dummy product so we can dive into the top five reasons why your Amazon FB product is not making sales. So if you have a product right now that is not making sales, I highly recommend you to follow along because these are five things you must check. So I just typed in my dummy product right here, which is confetti tissue. And I am going to pull up my Helium 10 Chrome extension and I want to go to X-Ray. Now, if you do not have Helium 10 installed, you should install it in your Chrome extension so you can look at this data for your own Amazon FB product. And if you want to get 50% off Helium 10, then just insert this code on Helium 10 to get 50% off. I will also leave the link to get 50% off in the YouTube description below. So I just opened up X-Ray and I am going to sort the revenue from big to small. I also want to look at the number of sales for my confetti tissue. Now all of the products right here is confetti tissue. If you find products that are not related to confetti tissue, then make sure you remove your product or else you will be looking at the wrong data. So what we want to figure out here is the total amount of sales for your top competitors. So for top competitors, I always like to look at the top three or four competitors, and I like to look at their sales. Now for the top seller right here, they are selling 8,712 units per month. The second seller is selling 5,830 units per month. And this one right here is selling 4,723 units per month. So I get this question a lot. And my students always ask me, Tamara, why am I not selling more than what I want to at the moment? So maybe let's pretend that you are selling 1,000 units every month, all right? And the question you have to ask yourself is, is there even enough room for customers to buy your product on amazon.com? So if I'm selling 1,000 units of confetti tissue for my own product per month, and I can see that my competitors are selling much more, then obviously there is room for me to still come in here and steal their sales. However, if the top seller is this guy right here, 1,152 units per month, and I am selling about the same, then guess what? You have no room to sell more because this is all that is available on Amazon's marketplace. These are the total amount of customers that are buying products on amazon.com. So if you are selling 1000 units and your competitor is also selling 1000 units, assuming that this is the top competitor now, how can you expect to sell, let's say 5000 units per month? You can't because your top competitor has already maxed out the total amount of sales. So you might want to check this for your own product. Type in your keyword in the amazon.com search bar, pull up x-ray, check out your top three competitors, and make sure that they have more sales than you do. If they do, then you have a higher chance of selling more units per month. But like I said, if your top three competitors are exactly where you are selling, let's say they are at around a thousand units and you are as well, then chances are you have maxed out. And when you have maxed out the amount of sales on Amazon, guess what? It's a good problem to have because now it is time to source a new product on Amazon so you can sell it to make more money. The second thing you have to pay close attention to is your Amazon PPC sponsored ads. So if you are not making sales on Amazon FBA right now, it's probably because another reason could be that you are just not running enough advertising. So I pulled up this product right here and this confetti tissue is the one that is listed. I just had it, it disappeared, but it was a sponsored product. I think it was this one. Yes, it was this one. S32, 
C, yes, this one. And this product right here is running PPC. Why are they running Amazon PPC sponsored ads? I can tell they are running it because under the sponsored rank, I can see that for these keywords on the left-hand side, this is the position that they are ranked at. So I know that they are, for example, position five for confetti sticks and they are position two for confetti tubes. This means they are trying really hard to advertise their product on Amazon's platform so customers will come in here and buy their product. So you have to run Amazon PPC ads as well. If you do not know how to run your Amazon PPC ads, then I suggest you to check out my latest Amazon PPC tutorial where I show you how to set up the most basic Amazon PPC campaigns so you can get more sales. If you need help with finding winning products to sell on Amazon and you do not know where to start, then I suggest you to get my free training in the YouTube description below. Click on the free training link, enter your name, enter your email address, and watch this quick webinar so you can learn how I teach others how to find good products to sell on Amazon. Watch the webinar to the very end because you may be qualified to get on a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with my team and they will walk you through the entire process on how to choose good products to sell on Amazon so you can make money. So again, make sure you are setting up your Amazon PPC campaigns and that you are running your ads to get more sales. The third thing to check for is to see if you are indexed. By the way, I forgot to mention, I am using Cerebro right here. So all I did was go to tools and then I went to keyword research, Cerebro, reverse product lookup, and then I put in that ASIN right here to get to this data right here. So for you, just go to Cerebro, enter your own ASIN, and then you will see all of the keyword phrases right here. And when you are running Amazon PPC ads, you can see where your sponsored rank is in this column right here. Now, getting back to number three is checking if your keywords are indexed. So let's pretend that I am wondering why my product is not getting sales. Like what could be the third reason? So right here, I already entered in this ASIN right here, which is the same one that we are using as my dummy product, this guy right here. And I put it in here and then I typed in a keyword confetti tissue. And then I clicked on check keywords. And I just clicked on yes because I did this earlier. And this will tell me if my keyword confetti tissue is indexed. What does it mean to be indexed? Index means that Amazon is picking up your product when you type in any keywords up on this search bar. So if I was a customer and I typed in confetti tissue because I am shopping for confetti tissues and the keyword confetti tissue is not indexed, guess what? The customer will never find your product because it's not indexed and therefore you will never get paid because they cannot find your product. So for any keywords that you are curious about, I suggest you to use index checker, which is this guy right here under listing optimization, keyword index checker. For any keywords that you think may not be indexed, but as you can see, confetti tissue is indexed and I am good to go. This tells me that when customers search confetti tissue, I can see my product, which is this guy showing right here for confetti tissue. The fourth reason why your Amazon FBA product may not be getting any sales is because your product kind of sucks. So if you are selling a product that everyone else is selling, then chances are you are just not going to get many sales because there are too many of the same product on Amazon. So if I am looking at confetti tissue, I can tell that all four of these tissues is different. We have like a pastel color, we have a rainbow color, we have um, all assorted, and then we have like a light pastel. These are all different. But if everything on the first page is mostly the same, if they are pretty identical, then chances are you will not make many sales. Then the customer will buy from the seller that has the lowest price or the seller that has the most amount of reviews. And that is called the chase to the very bottom. And that is why you do not want to sell a product that everyone else is selling. If you are selling a product on Amazon, you have to take the time to differentiate your product and make sure that your product is better in quality 
it appears to be different and the price is good. Which leads me to my fifth reason why you may not be getting sales on your Amazon FBA product or why it's not reaching its fullest potential is that your price is too high. Guys, I need you to listen to this because I see beginners making this mistake over and over again. And that is you are listing your price way too high. So let's take this one for example. This looks like confetti white tissue for $16.95. Let me see if I can find something similar. Here's a good example. So here's a seven pack wand and then this is a 20 pack wand. If I am doing the math properly, let's do some math here. For a seven pack, it's 1990, right? So 1990 divided by seven means that it's $2.84 for each wand if I were to buy from this product listing right here. However, if I choose to buy from this product listing, let's do the math, $29.90 divided by 20, this is a much better deal. Now we are buying each wand for $1.50. I round it up here. So if I was a customer and I love wands, confetti tissue wands that are white, I'm probably going to go with this guy, which means this seller is priced too high. So what I am trying to say is you have to study your competitor's pricing and make sure that in the very early stages of selling, especially if you are launching your Amazon FBA product, that your pricing is not too high. Now I have a specific pricing strategy that I teach my students. And if you want to become one of my students, then again, make sure you click on the free training link in the YouTube description below to get my webinar training watch the webinar and apply for a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with my team so we can walk you through what we do to find you good products to sell on Amazon. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the comment section below. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get notified every single time I post a new YouTube video and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in my next YouTube video.